monkey puzzle. Cheekyo Chimp was running as fast as he could. Every few strides he would look back over his shoulder to determine if the balance of safety was in his grasp. Cheekyo weaved in and out of the bushes, jumped over streams, and reached for the low branches and vines that hung like lifelines throughout the jungle. I am going to catch you and teach you a lesson, roared Lizarov. I hope it's not a science lesson, laughed Chikio as he looked back at the ferocious beast. Lizarov Lion was a menacing sight. He was huge, had large fangs and claws that were designed for one thing only, and today they had Chikio's name on them. Following from a safe distance were Chikio's friends, Elzina Elephant, Himaku Hippo, and Zebgan Zebra. I hope he outruns Lizarov, said Alzina as she gasped for air. Chikio just needs to find the right tree and climb out of reach, panted Himaku. He won't outrun Lizarov, but he might outsmart him, replied Zebgan. Lizarov was gaining on Chikio and reached out with his huge paw with claws showing. Just as Lizarov went to strike the cheeky little monkey, Chikio made a leap and grasped a branch, and in a flash was halfway up the tree. Lizarov skidded and came to a stop just a few yards from the pool. I will get you next time, roared Lizarov as he stared at Chikio from the foot of the tree. You say that every time, Chikio chuckled. Lizarov watched Chikio swing from tree to tree and disappear from sight. Mother, the bath is blocked again. What should I do? shouted Chikio from the bathroom upstairs. Use the plunger, darling, replied Mother, who was busy cooking breakfast downstairs. Chikio was already running late for school, so he placed the plunger in the bath and began to pump the water away. Chikio applied a lot of pressure to speed matters up and eventually snapped the small wooden pole. Oh no! shouted Chikio as he inspected the damage. Mother, the plunger is broken. I'm sorry, said Chikio as he made his way downstairs. Don't worry, get it repaired at the DIY store and get a spare one too on your way back from school today, replied Mother from behind the kitchen door. Chikio quickly guzzled his breakfast and drank his favourite drink, banana milkshake, in one large gulp. On his way out the front door, Chikio quickly glanced at the long mirror that was hanging on the wall beside the front door. That moustache suits me, said Chikio as he admired the white froth that lay on his top lip. Maybe next time, said Chikio as he wiped off the milkshake. Outside were Elzina, Himaku and Zebgan, and they all made their way to school. The four friends sat down in the classroom and opened their books to the page requested by the teacher. The tree that you see in front of you is often found in South America and is known to grow in Chile and Argentina. It is a beautiful tree and is known as the monkey puzzle. Monkey puzzle? said Chikio in astonishment. Why is it called that? he added. It is known as the monkey puzzle because there isn't a monkey on this planet that can climb it, replied the teacher as she held the book in the air showing the tree. I can climb any tree, boasted Chikio and stood up. Maybe this is one that is just too hard, said Elzina as she studied the picture of the tree. The monkey puzzle tree had no low branches and the leaves looked sharp and prickly. If that so-called monkey puzzle was in this jungle, I would climb it every day, said Chikio. I thought you might say that, Mr. Chikio Chimp, replied teacher. I have a task for you. There is a monkey puzzle tree planted beyond all other trees in the jungle. It is located near the pool. If you can find it, climb it, then I will believe you, said the teacher. No problem, I love a challenge replied Chikio as he rubbed his palms together in delight. The teacher reached into her desk and pulled out a flag. Place this red flag on the highest point of the tree and that will be the proof that you made it to the top, said the teacher. Sure, that's right up my tree, laughed Chikio. The four friends were quickly making their way to the jungle. 
Cheekier was being very impatient as he was delayed at the DIY store and wanted to show that he was true to his word when it came to tree climbing. I can't wait to place this flag on that tree and prove there is no such thing as a puzzle that a monkey can't climb, said Chikio as he checked his bag for the flag. Where is that tree? wondered Chikio. It's beyond all the trees. That's what the teacher said, replied Elzina. I think it's near the pool, pointed Himaku. We will look from the ground and you climb the trees and see if you can see the monkey puzzle from up there, suggested Zebgan. Chikyo climbed a tree and began to look as far as he could towards the pool, but he saw nothing. He began to swing from tree to tree and kept looking, but still there was no monkey puzzle in sight. Maybe teacher was playing a prank on me, shouted Chikyo from a treetop. The three friends looked up at Chikyo and began to laugh. I think you're right. That tree only grows in South America, remember? grinned Elzina. Just then, Chikyo began to gaze into the distance. Beyond the trees in the jungle was a clearing, and beyond that was a pool. Sitting on its own was a tree. It was a tree that Chikyo had never seen before. It was just like the picture in the book at school. It was the monkey puzzle. Chikyo climbed down the tree and gestured towards the new find. Follow me, said Chikyo with excitement in his voice. The three friends followed Chikyo. They looked at each other and wondered where Chikyo was leading them. Eventually, the darkness of the jungle disappeared and was replaced by the sunlight in the clearing. The four friends looked back at the jungle. The trees swayed in the warm air. Beyond the trees, they saw a pool. It was not the usual pool they went to on a hot day to cool off. This was a new pool. Next to the pool was what they were all looking for. It's so beautiful, said Alzina as she admired the tree. It's not the tallest tree I have ever seen. Maybe climbing it would not be so difficult after all, said Himaku as he circled the tree. There are no low branches, nothing to hold on to. How are you going to climb it? asked Zebgan. I don't know. Anyway, the leaves and thorns look as sharp as Lizarov's claws, replied Chikyo as he scratched his head in deep thought. My claws are sharper. The four friends did not even look around to see who had just roared. The voice was a familiar one. It was from their arch enemy, Lizarov Lion. Lizarov circled the four friends. He was very angry. Chikyo was always playing pranks on Lizarov and was always escaping from his claws. Where are you going to run, little one? There are no trees for you to climb here. And I know you won't be able to climb this one, roared Lizarov. Suddenly, without warning, Lizarov pounced at Chikyo. Elzina, Himaku and Zebgon ran towards the jungle and after a safe distance, hid in the bushes. They looked back and saw Chikyo run around the monkey puzzle tree with Lizarov chasing. Every so often, Chikyo would try to grip the trunk of the tree, but was unable to, and the branches were too high. Lizarov was closing in. Chikyo reached into his bag and threw a school book at Lizarov, but missed. Lots of dust was being generated by the chase, and the last thing the three friends saw was Chikyo throw another book at Lizarov. It was a direct hit. Lizarov was thrown off balance and skidded on the ground, throwing more dust into the air. Lizarov slowly got to his feet, and once the dust settled, Chikyo had disappeared. Where are you? roared Lizarov. There was no familiar, cheeky reply. Eventually, Lizarov gave up and decided to walk back into the jungle with his head down in defeat. He passed the three friends, but did not notice them cowering behind the bushes. Once Lizarov was out of sight, the three friends made their way towards the monkey puzzle tree. I wonder where Chikyo is, said Elzina, looking confused. Maybe Lizarov caught him. I couldn't see for dust, 
replied Hamaku, as he wiped a tear from his eye. What is that? On top of the monkey puzzle tree, pointed Zebgan. They all looked up and could not believe their eyes. There, on the top of the tree, waving about in the wind, was the red flag. Next to the red flag was Chikio, standing tall and proud, which was quite a feat for a small monkey. How did you get up there? asked Elzina. The same way I am going to get down, replied Chikio. Chikio reached into his bag, pulled out the two plungers that he had collected from the DIY store and pushed them onto the trunk of the tree. He slowly and carefully climbed down the tree, using the plungers as suction to support his weight. Within seconds, he was back on the ground with his friends. Monkey puzzle! It's no puzzle to me! screamed Chikio as he pulled the thorns from his hands and feet. The three friends burst out in laughter. The end.